Hey guys, this is ZachoX, and today I'm going to go a little bit more over the user controls. Um, I've already showed how to create your own user control and add properties, but there's so much to learn on what to do with the user control. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is it's a little buggy in some areas. Um, the reason being is because that's where Microsoft left off. They decided to go with .NET at that point, and so any bugs that I may find during this video or if I remember to tell you where they are, I will announce them and tell you. Um, other than that, if you avoid those problems, you're not going to have any issues and you can just keep programming the way you're going. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just start with the standard EXE and what I'm going to show you right now is how the um, user control really manages its steps, like when it's creating and deleting itself. I'm going to show you how it updates itself and what's going on. So what we're going to do here is go over here to the uh, project window, right click and add the user control. Yes, I am sounding a lot better today, finally getting over that sickness that I had. So we're going to go with user control, we're going to hit open. So maybe it'll be more interesting. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is go to view code. And I'm going to prop this down to get the user control. Okay, we have the initialize, we have the initialize properties. Let's see here. We have the read and write properties. I'll explain that. We'll just go ahead and put them down there so we know that they are going to be going off at least. Okay, we have the show. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of stuff, doesn't it? Um don't think I need to go off anything else here. These others you could find out pretty much yourself. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to do here is just tab and message box when it is going off. Because I want to show that when you add the control, what things are going to happen. Why am I doing this? Let's just, let's just copy and paste. So I select it all, right click and copy. And then I click at this select uh, position control V and tab control V so I'm just gonna keep doing this real quick here and then I'm gonna rewrite in here what it does this is initialize properties so we'll just start here here is the read properties but I don't think we're gonna be seeing that because we don't have any properties. Um, if we do have properties, when it first initializes, I believe it goes to the read and write. Um, so take that in mind. It does go to these these two right here, these read and write properties, quite often. Anytime you have multiple properties and something happens to that property, it keeps coming back to the read and write. Um, so if you have an error with the property, you may remember to check back on your read and write properties and make sure it's written right in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and close this and add this control on the form. So we can see now, watch what happens when I add it. We should get a bunch of message boxes. Okay, so first is the initialize, then becomes the properties. So from what I remember, the initialized properties only goes off once during the first time you add it on the form. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now we have the show. And there it is. Okay, so we have three. We had the initialize, the initialize properties, and the show. Now I'm going to show what happens when I run it. So we have the right properties going off. We have the initialize, we have the read properties and the show. Now you may want to write this down because knowing that is very important. Um, if you want something to happen in the design window instead of the uh, runtime window, which we're in right now, we're in runtime. Uh, if we go back, hit uh, stop right here. Let's go into initialize, read properties, write properties. You can see going in and out of the design and runtime there's basically these events that go off and you need to know which order um, when you're writing your your user control because maybe you don't want it to be in the show 
uh, event and maybe you just want it in the initialized event or maybe you only want it in the initialized properties events the very first time that you add the control to your form. Um, it may be as I save this and close this the events will be different um, when I first open it. So I can't remember but I'm showing you exactly how to pay attention to that um, and write your control so that it fits the events that you're writing it for. Um, also what I wanted to show in this part of the video so we've got our control right here but let's go ahead and edit our control a little bit because <clears throat> I had a question about this and I really hate YouTube you try to delete a comment it doesn't delete um, you try to edit your comment you can't edit it and sometimes when you hit reply you cannot reply to a comment so I really hate you YouTube um, let's go ahead and comment these out because I don't want them to go off anymore I was just showing a point and there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and write some property or property real quick. Um, get whatever as string. And no, I, I'm not going to put any uh, variable for this because I'm just going to show you something. Get um, let whatever. And you, from what I was checking back, um, you don't need the by valve here. You can put string caption as string or whatever string whatever. Um, you don't need that by value, you know, it should work fine. Uh, but I usually keep that in there reminding me it's not going to change anyways. So anyways, we're going to keep that there. Um, so we got this property, whatever, and it's a string. So maybe um, when you add your control, let's go ahead and add it to show what I am doing here because some people are not going to understand. Got our form open. So I add the control, or the controls right here. We'll click on the control. Okay, and we go down here and we're looking for whatever. There it is. Okay, there's our property. But when we go to uh, categorized right here, and we go up, we notice it's under miscellaneous. Okay, now one of the questions was, can we move this to a different category? And you see this position here, um, and there's behavior. Now from what I do know, I'm very positive you can't get rid of um, some, certain properties. Instance being visible, with, I mean, all these that are defaulted in here, I believe you cannot get rid of. Um, the reason is, is because they are hard-coded. So if you didn't want this property right here, this drag icon, I believe you can't get rid of this. Um, so I wouldn't even mess with that. Why just, why not just ignore it, you know? Um, so maybe we do want to characterize our properties so that we can find it easier. We don't want it in miscellaneous. We want it under behavior. We want to be more organized. Well, that's what I was going to show right now. So what we do is we go back to the control and you want to go to tools and then you want to go to procedure attributes there's our property whatever we can write a description here so then we're going to go ahead and go to advanced and here is where you change the property category or isn't that very thoughtful very helpful um, so you can change it here I'm not sure if you can type something here. I think you can. Yeah, you can, it looks like. Okay, so you could do that. Um, there's some other uh, buttons here, or excuse me, check boxes. Um, hide this member, user interface default. Even choosing a different property or procedure ID. Um, but we're not going to mess with that for right now because there's so much we can do with this. Um, so we showed how to change that category. Oh, maybe I should have went ahead and did it so I can show it properly. Because I said I could do it, but I never really showed it. We're going to put it under appearance. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that. Form one. And click the user control. Come on, click. Thank you. Go down to whatever. Okay, there's whatever. Change to categorized. Um, and we should see it under, what was it, appearance. There it is. So this is going to end for this video. Um, in my next video, I'm going to show a little bit more about the user control again. I'm, we're just going to keep going on this and hitting this hard. Um, thank you guys for looking at this video. Uh, it was great talking to getting this video done today um, and moving on to the next one.